Welcome today as we begin to explore the idea, the concept of receiving a biblical education. Let me speak to you, pastor. Let me speak to you, preacher. I want to speak to you who believe God has called you into the ministry full-time, that God has called you full-time into the pulpit ministry, where you're to teach and preach the full counsel of the Word of God, where you are to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you about considering receiving a biblical education to go deep and wide into the depth and the breadth of the Word of God, and especially here at Covington Theological Seminary. I want to draw your attention to 2 Timothy. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, it says here in verse 15, he says, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed accurately handling the word of truth. Now note what it says here, accurately handling the word of truth. You need to present yourself approved to God as a workman who does not need to be ashamed. Look at this. He says we're to be diligent. Now this particular word diligent, it denotes this, this zealous persistence okay, in accomplishing a goal. Nothing is going to deter you from accomplishing your goal. Timothy, like all who preach, and because this is in the book of Timothy, as the Apostle Paul draws his attention to this, just like Timothy who preached and teach and was preaching and teaching the Word of God, he was to give his maximum. He was to give his maximum effort to impart God's word at least three different ways. Number one, completely. Number two, accurately. And number three, clearly to all of his hearers. That's exactly what you and I are called to do every time we stand in the pulpit. We are to give the word of God completely, accurately, and clearly. And I want you to understand what he says, accurately handling the word of God. You know, the Greek word there is for cutting it straight. When he says accurately handling the Word of God, it means to cut straight. Very much like um, the, the, the exactness of a carpenter or masonry. Okay? You, you have to cut straight lines. The Apostle Paul was a tent maker, so he had to work with leather. So he had to make sure that his lines were straight. This is what it means. It means to accurately handle me. Cut the word straight is what you need to do. In other words, precision and accuracy are required in biblical interpretation beyond all of the other enterprises that exist in this world. My friend, I want you to think about this. If God's called you to the ministry, God's called you to the pulpit ministry, God's called you to plant a church, God's called you to disciple people in the Word of God, you got to be able to handle the Word of God, rightly dividing it, accurately handling it. You need to be very clear, accurate, and precise in the handling of the Word of God. Let me ask you a question. As you ponder this, and as you consider a biblical education. If you needed brain surgery on Monday morning, would you go to a surgeon, to someone who said he was a surgeon, and he read a book on surgery on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for him to operate on you on Monday? Of course not. If you needed to be in court on Monday morning, and you needed an attorney to defend you in the court of law, would you go to someone who read a book about the law on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to represent you on Monday morning? Of course not. I want you to think about this very carefully with me. If the doctor gets it wrong, you die. If the lawyer gets it wrong, you go to prison for life. But if the preacher gets it wrong, you can go to hell. So let me ask you this question. Which of the three is more important? You see, the world does not accept the unbelievers, the incredulous world that you and I live in, will not accept untrained professionals in any of their professions. And yet we in the church, study after study after study reveals that well over 80% 
of the men who stand in the pulpits today, not just here in the United States, but all over the world, well over 80% have never received one formal hour of Bible training in the Word of God. Are you in that 80% or are you in the 20%? Will you consider receiving a biblical education in Covington Theological Seminary? We, we stand ready and able and willing to train you in the Word of God.